<laughs> what was that? An absolute uh, crazy game between uh, Liverpool and Arsenal at Anfield. Um, that's we're gonna talk about. I mean, as that was the game I paid to the most attention to. Uh, but before that, um, the biggest game on uh, British Isles was probably the old form where Rangers won against Celtic 1 0. And if you look at the table here, uh, it's now Rangers are very close to Celtic. Uh, they're the level on points, uh, Celtic have a game in hand. So I thought. That if I would have known the day, maybe I might have watched it, but um, there was too much uh, Premier League and Serie A action today. And I was mostly absorbed by Serie A action, but the big game, of course, was um, Liverpool Arsenal, and that was the one where I said I really need to see that, and that's, of course, where the kids met their most problems uh, to not be able to watch it. But I got it all out. Um, I also saw. I say I saw, but you know, I realized most of the second half of Tottenham versus Wolves. I knew it was a one minute halftime for Tottenham, thanks to a Kane goal. I haven't seen the highlights yet, and I think I will watch highlights maybe tomorrow. And whatever I miss, tomorrow is another round of Premier League games where I can uh, add on to that. So they had a one minute lead, and you know, commentator was talking about how the uh, Kane will be knighted and blah 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 blah. and especially if they can get back into the championship uh, race and then Wolves turns the game around at Wembley. Uh, it was kind of surprising. I, I think that from what I could gather, Spurs had good control of the game and after a corner, a bully, the 72nd makes uh, a goal, equalizes and a little bit later or 10 minutes later, Jimenez through the legs of a Tottenham uh, defender so that uh, Yoris, uh, it looked kind of scrappy on him, but I think he really couldn't expect that it goes through there. Makes it 2-1 and then they had a third one uh, through El de Acosta uh, late. Absolutely crazy result, I gotta say, and I mean, the people that are happiest about that, any of the two teams playing up at Liverpool were probably very happy about that result. But I think Liverpool uh, knew that, yeah, a worst case scenario, they have now a seven point lead. Seven points instead of six points. I mean, they're just increasing the lead. Uh, quickly through other results here Brighton wins against Everton 1 0. That's surprising. Fulham finally gets the win against Huddersfield. Uh, Leicester cannot follow up on the big win against City. It loses at home to Cardiff City 1 0. Watford and Newcastle 1 1. Actually, that was the one that I was more eyeing to watch since I now need a Newcastle shirt. But yeah, um, couldn't find it. And then I said, yeah, Spurs Wolves is probably the better one. But the best one was Liverpool against Arsenal. And what a game. Really, this was absolutely crazy. Um, in the first few minutes, you had the thing that Arsenal wants to play. And they were playing, of course, in their horrible, horrible mint green jerseys. Couldn't they just play in the navy? I know it's too dark colors, but it would look unfair. Those mint greens, I don't like. And uh, sure enough, after a defensive error, uh, Maitland Niles makes it 1 0 for Arsenal. And I thought, oh, this is gonna now test Tottenham quite some. Ah, Tottenham, sorry, Liverpool quite some. But they responded quickly, and they have this property. They're gonna stay calm now. It had, it, nothing seems to face this team. In the 14th, um, Arsenal makes an absolute mess in defense. The ball comes uh, almost by a deflection to Firmino, who has an empty run on goal, nets it in. It's 1-1, uh, and shortly thereafter, uh, that was actually 16th, really nicely uh, done. He makes it 2-1. Uh, two, two, so within five minutes, they turned the game around. And you had the feeling that Arsenal was slightly falling apart, but you know, the game remained open. And then an absolute wonderful attacking move. I, you gotta give it uh, to Liverpool, where Salah assists wonderfully. I mean, there was a, a um, cross in, he just drops it off to Mane, and Mane slots it home. Uh, 3 1, and that more or less was the game. Uh, right before halftime, there was a 
moved by Alison, uh, who plays it out. I think it was um, Firmino. I'm not sure on that one now, but uh, the ball gets to Salah, who uh, dribbles in, in the box and is taken down by Shaka. Uh, penalty. That was a pretty clear cut penalty for all the legs. It's 4 1. We'll talk about contentious penalty when we talk about Serie A later on. And then um, another penalty uh, in the second half. You know, 4 1 at halftime, a game was done and dusted. Uh, I, uh, you had to fear for Arsenal that it doesn't get ugly. Maybe Arsenal should have got the penalty later on, but it was Liverpool who got another penalty. Also, relatively clear from my perspective. Um, and Firmino, who actually had quite some misses, makes this penalty and uh, it ends 5 1 Liverpool. Liverpool absolutely cruising. If you look at the standings right now, uh, let me see here. Um, City has to play tomorrow um, at Southampton. That could be also another tricky matchup, and United, Bournemouth, Burnley, West Ham, and Palace, Chelsea. Probably won't see any of these because I'll be meeting a friend from America. I'm quite excited about that one. Uh, he's listening for Christmas with his family. But yeah, Liverpool now 54, Tottenham 45. City can close the gap, but they cannot make more than 37 points. Uh, Arsenal. Yeah, we have to wait what Chelsea is doing. Uh, Wolves uh, jump ahead of Leicester in seventh spot. I think that's a change. Watford jumps ahead of Everton and uh, West Ham, but West Ham still has a game in hand, so they can go up. And yeah, on the bottom, Fulham goes above Burnley. Again, Burnley game in hand. Same is true for Huddersfield. And yeah, Southampton Cardiff gets a boost out. And even uh, Newcastle who was in 15th, it looks all right. So that was the Premier League action today. I probably will watch, as I said, a few more highlights and maybe there will be more uh, in a video tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to do an all new Premier League video. Let me know what you thought about all the games uh, that happened, especially the Liverpool Arsenal one. Uh, absolutely dominating performance by Liverpool. I, at the moment, I don't see how they're not becoming champions, and I would be very happy to see that. But you know, they've messed it up four years ago. So let's see. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel right about here. I've been trying to get a new perspective, uh, not sure if I will stick with it. Check out also the playlists right here and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.